Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a V-neck shirt with short sleeves that will fit vintage velvet dolls, Welly Wishers from American Girl, and a number of other dolls in this size range. You can add false buttons down the back or just use a regular snap closure in back depending on the style that you like best. This pattern looks great in printed cotton fabric as well as solid fabric. But before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download these two free printable PDF sewing patterns. There's a link below this video on YouTube that should help you find those. You'll be using this back pattern, this v-neck front pattern, and shirt sleeve pattern A. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Place one bodice back on top of another bodice back. If you have printed fabrics, you want to keep right sides together. Sew around the neck, the back closure, and the bottom of the back of the shirt. Do this for both shirt backs. Place one bodice front on top of another. Again, keeping those right sides together if you have fabric where it matters. Sew the v-neck area. Clip and invert the front and both backs. So here I am clipping one of the backs and here I am clipping the front. And then you want to invert it. Sometimes a chopstick can help with that. Press all seams that you've made so far. Set one of the backs on top of the shirt front. Stitch across the shoulder area like you see right here. Do the same for the other back. Press these shoulder seams. Now your bodice is going to look like this. Let's put this aside for a moment so we can work with the sleeves for a little bit. Create a double fold hem by folding once and then a second time along the longest straight edge. Use a whip stitch to hem, but it's also okay to use a sewing machine. They are kind of tiny stitches though. If you need help with the whip stitch, I have a tutorial for that. Just look in the description below this video on YouTube for a link to my whip stitch tutorial. Hem both sleeves with a double fold hem. Lay the sleeves curved side against one of the backs, keeping right sides together, and it does matter in this case. Stitch from the underarm area to one centimeter shy of the shoulder seam. Tie a knot when you reach that one centimeter shy point. Now attach the sleeve on the other side. Here's a clip that shows you what I mean because this can be tricky to understand. Okay, so you've attached part of the sleeve, but now you're going to grab the side that you haven't attached and roll it around like this to join it with the underarm of the front. And you can see me inserting my needle there to begin stitching. And again, you're going to sew from the underarm area to one centimeter shy of the shoulder seam. And yes, this will leave a gap at the top. That's actually what you want. Here's a video clip to show how it looks now. Okay, so here's my sleeve. And if I poke my finger through there, there is a gap at the top. That's actually what you want. You want to make sure that all seams are hidden there on the underside of the garment. And that's what it looks like. Gather 
any extra fabric at the top of the sleeve. We call that the sleeve cap. There's still a hole there and so we need to sew it shut. Stitch across the shoulder area, fully attaching the sleeve to the bodice and closing that gap. Now it's going to look like this. Follow the same steps for the other sleeve too. Fold by flipping one back against the front. Now here's what I mean by that. So we're looking at the right sides. We fold one so we can see the wrong side of the sleeve. And then you want to draw together the underarm area right there at the bottom of the sleeve. And now we're going to attach the back to the front by sewing from the sleeve's edge to one centimeter shy of the hemming area. Follow the same steps for the other back. So you fold it and then you stitch it as well. The backs have a closed hem, but the front still has a raw edge at the bottom. Pinch that raw edge inside itself, making sure the backs and the fronts align nicely. You want their hem areas to match up. Whip stitch along the edge of this hem fold. So here's what I mean by that. You can see I'm whip stitching along this edge that I've closed up. Now sew the side seams shut on both sides of the shirt. Invert the shirt. So you'll see me doing that right here. It's kind of fast motion. Add a row of snaps down the back. If you need help sewing snaps on fabric, I have a tutorial for that as well. Just look below in the description on YouTube. It's optional, but you can add some faux buttons over the top of your snaps to create a down the back button look. Okay, let's try this shirt on our doll. For more free printable PDF sewing patterns, to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll, or vice versa? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.